Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. Today I want to talk about Lemtrada. I went to a luncheon uh, put on by Santa Fe, uh, which is the drug manufacturer of Lemtrada, to find out what it's about. I am not eligible for Lemtrada because I have secondary chronic progressive MS, but it is a uh, real choice for those with relapsing remitting. First, I wanted to tell you that uh, the idea behind relapsing, remitting uh, use is that those who qualify, uh, the hope is, is that successful patients' immune systems will be desensitized towards the B cells responsible for the dis disease activity. That means that on successful completion, uh, your disease, they, they say that your disease uh, won't be as aggressive. Um, that is the hope. Who qualifies for uh, Lemtrada? Well, you have to have uh, relapsing remitting disease, um, MS, and you need to have failed two other disease-modifying medications. Uh, the side effects, what are the side effects? There is an autoimmune disease that affects 2% of people. It is called ITP, or immune thrombody. I don't know. If that, that's not going to happen out of my, my lips right now. Uh, but this will be caught before it happens. They can detect it coming on by doing blood work. Uh, kidney problems can affect 0.3% of people, but that also is caught in advance. Infusion reactions are common, but uh, uh, the, the protocol that is used in the infusion center controls the, the speed of the infusion as well as the symptoms. Uh, it can increase your chances of melanoma and thyroid cancer. Uh, however, I did not feel it was any bit uh, more statistically significant than the general population uh, where baby boomers or X generation, we didn't use sunscreen as much. So I got a feeling it has something to do with that. But this is what they say. Thyroid problems do occur in 34% of the patients patients that take it, but uh, 34, everybody at this conference that I had gone to, uh, most of them had thyroid problems that said it was completely manageable by a pill. The drug is out of the system in 30 days, and it shows that 49 to 55 percent find it more effective than Rebif. That's what the studies show. Uh, 30 percent uh, found it more, uh, more, more beneficial uh, compared to taking no medications at all. That, you know, you gotta, you gotta consider that. Uh, how it works is if you decide to do this, it's two rounds, one year apart. And uh, it's five full days of uh, treatment, consecutive days, in a row, and then uh, a year, the second year, it's three consecutive days in a row, which is that which uh, means consecutive days, but it's full days, and uh, then you're done. Um, hopefully, you don't have to do it again. However, if, uh, if you do have problems, they can treat you with solumedrol as well, and they may want to uh, infuse you again with uh, Lemtrada. Uh, the other thing, it can cause low blood count um, in those people, in, in people, but so many of our other disease modifying medications cause that as well. Anyway, uh, please subscribe to my channel here and uh, I'll continue gathering information and reporting it to you. Uh, go to the Facebook group MS Frontiers, it's our medical. Uh, support group with people with MS that we all try to help each other and uh, thank you I pray for all of you God bless you and keep coming back